Once upon a time, there was a lovely princess who was locked up in a tower guarded by a fire-breathing dragon. She waited and waited patiently for a brave knight to come rescue her and live happily ever after. Greetings everyone, I am Fiona, Princess Fiona. Besides waiting for my night, I also like to make piña coladas, practice karate, and follow a strict makeup routine to look my best at all times. If you don't mind, I'm gonna get started right away. First and foremost, I'm going to give myself a mini facial massage using this jade roller. It's made with an actual jade stone, so it's always cold. It helps to deep off your eyes, tighten your skin, and improve blood circulation. So if you guys are interested, I'll just have the link in the description. Next, I'm going to get busy with priming. I'm going to take my favorite hangover primer from Too Faced. It's a replenishing primer, so it hydrates and also makes the foundation go on really smooth. Um, I love that it smells like coconut because it's infused with coconut water. So I'm just applying it everywhere on my face and also the neck. Okay, for the foundation, I'm going to be using two foundations. One is really light and one is similar to my skin tone. So I'm just going to mix it and apply it everywhere with my Fenty Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to go in with the setting powder, start baking the under eyes first. The foundations both were pretty full coverage, so I could just skip the concealer. After about a minute, I'm just going to brush and make sure everything is matte. Um, now for the brows, I'm taking a light brown art pencil and making really thin arched brows. I feel like the brows need to be a bit more reddish to match with the wig, so I'm taking a red lip liner and applying it on my brows with an angle brush. Now straight to the nose contour, I really want to define it and make it look as similar to her nose as possible. So I'm taking an angled shadow brush, applying it on the eyelids, the sides of my nose, and also the tip. For her eye makeup, I'll be using the Naked Heat Palette. First, I'm going to take the lightest eyeshadow and place it on the inner corners and also the brow bones. Okay, now I'm going to do a mini cut crease. So I'm using M Cosmetics Gold Eyeliner. Um, if you already have a big crease, you can just use an eyeshadow. For the next step, I'm going to take my dark brown pomade. And this is kind of like faking the crease. So I'm just going to outline around the gold. I'm going to go back to the palette, pick up some reddish brown, and shade around it. Um, I'm trying really hard not to make it too dramatic because our makeup is very simple. In the eyes, I decided to go with a dark brown eyeliner. Uh, black would have been way too harsh. I'm gonna skip false lashes for this look and just use my amazing fiber mascara that I just did a whole video for. Um, her lashes are really long just on the outer corners, so I'm just gonna apply fiber there and go back with the mascara. To create the freckles, I'm going to do my little hack that I did a while ago and it got super popular. Um, I just use a hairbrush, apply some brown concealer on it, and then just press it on my face. After that time-saving freckle hack, um, I'm going to go ahead and apply some coral blush on the sides of my cheeks. I'm already down to the lips. I have this really pretty nude lip liner from Urban Decay. I'm going to make my lips look really thin with this, so just reshape it. And then after that, I'm just going to apply Dose of Colors lip gloss on top. That's pretty much it for the makeup. It's really simple, right? Okay, now I'm just gonna grab my Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I'm gonna shake it really well and spray it like 10 inches away from my face. This is gonna refresh my makeup, keep the skin hydrated, and lock the makeup all day. Now the red wig is gonna make a huge difference, so all I need to do is tuck all my black hair inside in this nude wig cap. So here's the long red wig that I got for her. It's a lace front, so it's going to look really natural. And I know I kind of look like Merida right now, but I'm just going to take all the hair back and start braiding it down. It was really hard for me to find a red wig with a widow's peak, so I'm just going to paint it on. And then here's the little gold crown that I DIY'd myself. And lastly, I just need to put on the blue contacts. And that is how I look like a human, oh, I mean, me, myself, Princess Fiona. Now here is the rest of the story. <laughs> the 
This is really good. What is this? It's sweet rats. Tasty, huh? Yeah, it's delicious. Princess? Yes, Shrek? Mm -hmm.